Hey guys, it's Jackie with Intoxicating Arts. I just wanted to share something with you that I figured out the other day while I was making an envelope to house the 6x6 inch card that I made for my mom. And basically, I had used this Garden Party Stack by Die Cuts with a View, and she really likes the colored green, so I'd use this piece of paper. But I got a cool effect that I didn't know I was going to get, and I think it's because it has the design up here, the design on the bottom, and nothing in the middle. So when I folded it, I actually ended up with this pretty design right here in the middle, diagonal on each corner, and then this part was on the back, and it lined up almost perfectly, and it looked really cool. And when I gave it to her, she's like, how did you do that? So it, it really did look cool. Um, so just to give you an idea of what I mean, this is another piece of paper that I had that, actually I'm going to show you it. It's from, I love this stack, it's the Heirloom Stack by Die Cuts with a View, and it comes with a ton of paper in it, but they're really lightweight. Let me see if I can find, I don't remember where it was in here. Just, oh, there it was, okay. So, here we go, here we go. So this is what this one looked like. So maybe now you can see a little better what I was talking about. So this came from right here. And then the rest of the design is on the back and it ends up in a diagonal. So it's really cool. And it actually, like, it almost matches up and everything. So I want to show you how to make one of these. And it's really, really easy. And it's just a matter of finding the right type um the right piece of paper with the right design on it. So I also tried it with a different piece of paper that just had like a border type of thing. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so it was this piece of paper right here. And I thought maybe if I used this, then I would get it, you know, all around. But because of how much I had to cut off, and since the border didn't go in very far, I actually ended up with this, which was basically just the middle of the paper and then a little bit of one of these flowers in the corner. And then on the back, it gave me, like, this kind of crisscross thing. But I think if the border had gone in further, then it would have been a much cooler effect, but that didn't work out very well. However, I am left with all these really cool border strips from that one and from the other one, so I'm definitely going to hang on to those. Alright, so let me get out the piece of paper that I'm going to do this tutorial with. which is, okay, sorry, I had to think for a minute here. I'm going to do another one of the one that I did my mom's card with, just because I really like that one, and I really like how it came out. Get it out of here. There we go. All right. Put this all aside. Just bear with me here. I never do tutorials. So first thing you're going to need to do is cut down your 12 by 12 piece of paper to 10 by 10, but you're going to want to make sure that it's symmetrical. So you're first of all going to cut it down to 11 inches. So let's do that first. There's 11 and then you're just going to flip it and now we're going to cut it down to 10, and that way we're going to keep that design that we want to be diagonal on the corner. It's going to stay right there in the middle. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to cut it at 11. So it does, you know, I mean, you end up cutting off part of the design, but I'm sure you can find other uses for that. And then we're just going to cut it at 10. So now we are left with a 10 by 10 piece of paper. Let's move this out of the way. And I'm going to be using a Martha Stewart scoreboard. And just in case you've never used one of these before, I'll just show you really quickly. It's really easy to use, and it does come with instructions on the actual scoreboard itself. 
So right here for a six inch square card, it says to start with a 10 by 10 piece of paper and we're going to be scoring at three and three quarters and three and three quarters. So there's the A score lines and the B score lines, which it shows you right there how that works. But it's going to be really easy since the A and B are all three and three quarters. We don't need to worry about that. We're just going to score all of them at three and three quarters. Also, if you're going to be making an envelope for a flat card, you want to decrease the length and width of your starting paper size by an eighth of an inch and just score it at three and three quarters and three and three quarters for the six by six inch card. So that means that you would start off with a nine by seven eighths of an inch by nine by seven eighths of an inch piece of paper and then score it at three and three quarters. So I just wanted to show you that and you're just going to put it right there in the corner. We're going to line this up diagonally until it matches up and I like to try to keep that you know, just up there, butt it up against the top. And then we're just going to score at, let me fix this here. Okay, so three and three quarters. Oh, I almost did that wrong. You want to have the design side down. I mean, if you don't, it's not a huge deal. It's just, it's going to be a lot easier to fold it if you do it properly. So, three and three quarters. A lot of people use a different um, stylus for scoring on the scoreboard, and I do most of the time actually, but I'm just using the one that came with it right now just to show you it, you know, it does work perfectly fine. It's just maybe not the most comfortable thing to use, and I think that's probably the reason that, well, that's the reason that I use a different one anyways, because I just don't like how... It's not really comfortable. I mean, this part, like, kind of digs into your finger while you're using it. So, yeah. I mean, it's it works. It's just not the most, oops, not the most comfortable little tool. Okay, so there we go. We have all of our score lines in there. I'm just going to show you what that looks like if you can kind of see all the score lines in there. And then we're done with this scoreboard. You can go ahead and put that away. Okay, so now you're left with these little triangles down here. Let me see if I can zoom in here for you. See the little triangles? You're going to want to cut those off. And when you're cutting those off, you, you can see there's, you know, you have your line right in the middle, but you could either cut more this way or more this way. I cut more in just because if you have excess, it's going to be hard to fold it properly without having something either getting in the way or possibly sticking out. So I like to cut in a little bit more rather than not enough. So just go along the sides and cut off all of those little triangles. I mean, I'm not perfect about it at all. I just cut them off quickly. Okay, so now you're left with a piece of paper like that. And all you're going to do is fold it. So, fold this bottom one. I'm going to fold this other one right here. And fold this one. So I like to pre-fold it before I get ready to start gluing things together, and that way I can figure out, sorry my bracelet's being noisy, that way I can figure out how I want it to be. So see what I mean? You're going to end up with the pretty designs on the diagonal like that, that were in the middle of the strip on each side. So they were like, basically like that. And then you're left with this on the back, which I'm going to see... You might want to fold this differently. Let's see, I'm trying to get them to kind of line up if I can, but it doesn't look like it really wants to. So, I guess that'll have to do. Um, Actually, the one, I don't know why, but the one that I made for my mom, it actually lined up a lot better than that for some reason. I'm wondering. Hmm. Well, that's what the back 
back looks like, but I think it's still kind of cool how it's all going in a diagonal like that, and then the front is like that, so it's really cool, and then to finish off the envelope, it's really easy, you're just going to take a glue, whatever kind of glue you want, and you're going to run a line of it going from the bottom up to there, and then you're just going to press that down, same thing on this side, run some glue, press it down, and then you're going to put your card in it, and then when you're ready to mail it, I like to just put a little glue dot right there. If I'm hand delivering it, if I'm mailing it, then I definitely put glue along the whole thing and, you know, sticker or whatever. But, um, this, this envelope should go through the mail just fine because it's still really flat. And, yeah, so hopefully I taught you something that you didn't know. And if you already knew that, then that's awesome. I just, I didn't know and I accidentally ran across it and I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to share it with you. And I'm going to come back in a little bit, and I'm also going to share a card that I made yesterday. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.